So I'm in LA with my friend Gershom. I've known Gershom for like too many years. Yeah, too we went to our center together yeah. at film school. 2004, 2006. Okay, so the, the one message I took home from Roland Young is he said artists have to be contradictory. That's the only that's, that's the only thing you have to remember for entire education of our center is that is as artists you have to be contradictory. Why? Because 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 you have to have two opposing forces. It's chem, it's chemistry. It's like physics. Two opposing forces when they collide will give rise to explosion, and the, the rise of explosion of the idea that you need dialectically opposing forces to have a new idea. Yeah, you need to have a spark. Yeah, you, you come from breaking something. Very simplistic terms. Yeah. Like the only thing, two, two things that I can feel that I care about is like sex and creativity. Yeah. It's like the mind and the body. After my awakening experiences, now the struggle is even bigger because you got the little struggle in duality, you got the big struggle between truth and, non, uh, and, 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 and illusion. Basically, all the, 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 the difference between mind and body is irrelevant from the perspective of non-duality. It's, it's better to be a, a deep thinker than just lifting weights. But from the perspective of non-duality, they're the same. You just showing off your intellect, showing off your creativity, showing off how aesthetic. Yeah, your you're just is. being an egomaniac Same with. Thing. Uh... Years ago, when I was gonna shoot a student, like um, what is it called, like uh, student film, and then we both try to make, uh, just use the same crew to make our films. Yeah. And then, but like he went over his time when he was shooting his his yeah, uh, the, the commercial. The electricians fucked up. Yeah, and uh, whatever. But then, like, so so I didn't get to shoot my film. Yeah. And then so like, he owed me like seven thousand yeah. dollars for a while, but yeah. he paid me back. It's hard, but, but during all those times we were still friends, and I, every time yeah. I come to LA, I stay with him. Yeah, we should we should show them clips of like our center. We, oh we yeah, do yeah, as a yeah, film yeah. And, like yeah. every time I come here, I film some shit. You know, you know what's crazy about that? Mammy, Mammy, I, I saw Grandma. Was he hard? Was he hard? He used to live in a van for like two years. Yeah. And he raw vegan. No. Yeah. He's a, he only eat raw before, food. Yeah. Before now. I'm He's a really weird, weird guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was, I was working full time as a permit manager, right? Uh -huh. And a full, a full time business, buying and selling fridges. Right? And I did this before she was born. How would you like to lure Tabasco? Uh, Tabasco. Sure. Oh, you can have this. Huh? Oh, put it right here. Okay, Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. You see how it says 40 minutes? Because yeah. that means parents are like, oh, I can leave my fucking kid alone for 40 minutes. Dude, it's fucking genius. It's just a table. <laughs> Everything's on this table and he has his camera facing down. Yes. So there, there's Elliot. Yeah. Right there, look at this fucking baby big mouth. And all he does is a table. <laughs> Dude, this guy's a financial genius. Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike Chen with Sixpack Hi, I'm Frank Yang. Third cousin to Mike Chen. And this is SexyPeckerCutShort.com. Oh. Oh. So this is what it's going to like for me? No shit! It didn't feel that light at the end. No? <laughs> Good. 
best workout. I need that. I need little work the muscles. Catching, six pack shortcuts. Blast the chest. Blast the chest. Alright, let's go. Alright, Matt, your, your workout is over. Your workout is over. Okay, good. Your workout is over. Alright, what's happening? So apparently, as of 2017, Mike Chen sold Six Pack Shortcut and said he wanted to start a new life and a new channel. And it talks about psychology and spirituality. I told you the whole world is waking up. Then I did uh, 45 minutes of yoga, followed by about 20 minutes of meditation. So now I'm ready to go and take it on the day. Look at those people that are lining up to be next. Matt Ocas, you can see from his posts that he's only undergoing some kind of inner transformations. You can see from Matt's faces there's a discontent in the overdrive of flesh and the materiality of the fitness industry. I mean, if you put all his effort into weightlifting and self-inquiry and meditation, I have no doubt that with that kind of determination, he's going to become the next enlightened Buddha. Just a fucking girl's mind. Pretty much. Most people's minds, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and was it worth it? I think so, right? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know.